plan for our new depot and in the end i will just summarize upon what are the changes uh, in the new specification as compared to rakes what what two rakes have currently a lot of uh, suggestions have been given from this depot to icf icf has been kind enough to take care of a lot of them so obviously whatever new rakes we get uh, we will get much much better than what we have these two are great but obviously improvement can always be there so few less matlab you can expect even lesser failures so just uh, milestones we can discuss as sir was already telling we have been operating the two rakes on two routes two rakes two routes no spare coaches no spare rakes no spare basically that is the first and foremost challenge that was you know in front of us and is in front of us right now also we don't have any spare rake or coach so sick marking of sick marking of rake is not possible or coach is not possible so we have two routes two rakes as of today uh, to both rakes have covered a cumulative mileage of around 15 lakh kilometers we have had four failures line failures that resulted in uh, detention uh, out of which one has been on the account of uh, train there were primary spring failure detected at banaras end and we had to bring the rake back at a restricted speed other than that if you see that is a hell lot of a uh, performance record one failures in 15 lakh kilometer that is despite the availability of any spare rake or coach so that is obviously all credit goes to the designers of the rake who have actually made a very very robust design and which requires maintenance but very less maintenance efforts is required for that now i think all, all of us are familiar with this configuration we have a uh, four basic units of four car each all under slung all equipments are mounted under slung so more space for passengers or other passenger amenities you know? but obviously that comes with its own uh, challenges as we have some unusual problems that people across the world don't face we have cattle runovers and our atmosphere is a uh, very very dirty actually very very a lot of dust is there in our atmosphere as compared to some other countries maybe so uh, mounting the uh, propulsion equipment under slung comes with its own challenges but e again i'll say easy but uh, some things had to be changed some changes had to be made in the uh, maintenance philosophy few changes i'll cover later few changes have been made in design also so that फॉर्डर रेक्स में इतना इशू नहीं आ पाए अगेन सिंपल लेआउट्स डीटीसी मोटर कोच एंड टीसी दीज आर थ्री बेसिक कोच लेआउट्स नाउ दिस वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट स्पेसिफिकेशंस वी हैव 50% मोटरिंग दैट मींस वी हैव the advantage of a lot of acceleration but then again it comes with again flip side you have to maintain 32 motors you have to maintain 16 inverters and 32 motors for that maximum test speed of 176 kmph so we got a sanction of 160 kmph currently none of the rake is running at 160 kmph track limitations are there so we are currently running at 130 max these are your acceleration and deceleration parameters just for the knowledge now this is something that will interest you guys these are our mileage earned and this is our lifetime regeneration percentage of the energy we have regenerated again uh, some of you may see it as a very less regeneration percentage but again we have to take in consideration that we do not have a lot of stoppages from here to to banaras we already only have two on en route stoppages so all of this regeneration is coming on the 
just because of the virtue of uh, PSRs and TSRs. Still a very good percentage. Obviously, the requirement has been increased in the new rakes also. Now, this is again by the virtue of our acceleration, we have a 0 to 100 km pitch time of 150 seconds, 130, 85 seconds, and 160, 182 seconds. Obviously, we have not been able to see this particular figure in action in real commercial services. 130 we have seen, we have measured, it's actually great. Now the maximum tractive effort that we get is 800 kilonewtons. Maximum electrodynamic brake effort. We, as at present, we uh, use a blended brake system, computer controlled, controlled blended brake system, uh, wherein the requirement of the brake is primarily completed by the electrodynamic brake only. As long as the brake demand is if it is getting completed by the ED effort, ED braking effort provided by the train, there will be no friction brake application. Friction is again EP brake, but if the brake demand made by the driver is less, or I should not say less, can be completed by the ED effort, so there will be no friction brake application. That of but obviously you have to keep, keep your friction brake into working condition at all 100% braking effort you have to maintain because when you go for emergency there's it's pure ep again it's not purely pneumatic brake it's electro pneumatic brake so that what what does this lead us that leads us to very less ebd values you see, uh, 130 to zero, if we go with full service brake with ED and EP. Again, one more good thing about this train, the driver does not does not have two separate handles for electrodynamic brake and electro-pneumatic brake. He has a single handle and he has to just apply. The entire calculation is taken care of by the system how much to apply ED, how much EP to apply. Entire calculation is to be done by the system itself. Driver has one single handle, the forward of which is powering or drive mode. The uh, reverse mode is braking. So driver ko bhoza effort nahi lagana hai. So if he is applying full service brake, so our 130 to zero emergency braking distance is around 858 meters. And same, if we go for emergency brake, 130 to zero, that is pure EP application, but full maximum pressure application. In that case, our EBD is 654 meters. Again, both these brakes have to be slide controlled. That is taken care of by the system. Otherwise, we can, for such small EBDs, you can have the problems of wheel slides and wheel flats. But again, that is controlled by the system. Now, I don't, uh, this is uh, just a small example of what all does TCMS, what we call train control and management system does. What it, it does a lot of things. Obviously it controls everything. It controls the pantograph, it controls VCB, it performs traction control, as well as the, uh, what we call cruise mode control. Cruise mode control is something that uh, you can fix the speed at a selected speed and thereafter the entire thing is taken control by the system uh, whether to apply traction or to apply braking based upon the gradient based upon the demand uh, at present we say that our tcms can maintain the speed at plus minus 3 kmph or whatever you said if it in case of less gradients or no gradients that is maintained at set speed only we have faced this issue in Jammu Katra section where are there are a lot of up and down gradients. There that plus minus three things actually comes into play. But obviously this can be improved as you improve the response of the system. Now we have automatically uh, closing uh, pneumat uh, electric plug doors with pneumatic locking. So that has to be interfaced with the TCMS. The door closure has been interlocked with the traction. Agar aapka ek bhi darwaza khula hai, to aapko traction allow 
होगा दैट अगेन विद टू रेडेंसीज टंग इज हार्डवेयर रेडेंसी वेर इन जब दरवाजा बंद हो the relays get and relays get activated so you limit switches get pressed sorry and relays get activated so you get a positive signal ke door has been closed if that fails then the door control unit interfaces with the pcms and tells ke ha darwaza band ho gaya hai ke nahi ho gaya then it interfaces with the rmq you you need to be able to control the rmqs the pcms interfaces with brake control as i told कितना ब्रेक लगाना है दैट इज प्योरली कंट्रोल्ड बाय टीसीएमएस बट टीसीएमएस कंट्रोल्स अप टू द लेवल ऑफ के हाउ मच ईडी ब्रेक इट हैज टू अप्लाई एंड हाउ मच ईपी ब्रेकिंग एफर्ट इज नीडेड जितना ईपी ब्रेकिंग एफर्ट चाहिए दैट इज फेड टू द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ब्रेक कंट्रोल यूनिट एंड दैट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ब्रेक कंट्रोल यूनिट और बेकू डिसाइड्स हाउ मच प्रेशर टू पुश इन टू सिलेंडर that is all, that is their own control then we have compressor control we have four basic units each has one compressor so we have four compressors so we have to control the duty cycle of each compressor that is again taken care of by the tc taken care of by tcms based upon the present mr value if the mr value falls below 7.5 traction is immediately prohibited and at that point all four compressors will start working as soon as the pressure reaches 8.5 we can stop one three will keep on working like that a simple logic they have then we have parking brake parking brake is also controlled by tcms we have a few logics whereas in case of mr loss automatically parking brake apply hota hai so that you don't have the issue of roll down lights is uh, coach lights are controlled uh, these are few important things uh, roll back detection the train can detect if it is rolling back and automatically brake is applied vigilance control we know vcd uh, in case they have uh, finalized few actions let's say on or vc technology if that is pressed within 60 seconds the counter is reset otherwise the counter goes to Uh, 6 uh, if it goes above 60 for 8 seconds you have visual indication above for 60 plus 8 plus 8 seconds you have audio indication and at 76 seconds penalty brake is applied simple now cruise control i have already told you about it next is neutral section mode that is actually very important because uh, we have uh, four basic units so we have four bcbs so as as soon as you pass into a neutral section the vcbs have to be opened now in a traditional system the uh, the driver is in the loco itself so he does it manually he can he opens the dj and then he controls closes the dj now the train length is around 384 meters so driver don't doesn't know where is the last vcb so that is also taken care of by the system we just say that driver has to press the neutral section switch at 250 meters board that's it everything else is done by the system based upon the current speed of the train and the availability of ohg voltage that we keep monitoring because our pen to is raised pen to is not dropped then we have a lot of test modes we can test all our train lines we can test the master controller there and we have a test for de determining whether there is any earth leakage in the roof high voltage circuit that is there and we have obviously event recording is there all all events on the train are recorded they are also transferred on to the rem lot we have set up a dedicated control room they keep monitoring these trains as well as 1600 hp demo trains that also have a rem lot system so they keep monitoring and we get a real time feedback of whatever is happening on the train next is a train protection system so we have in case of any emergency brake the in case emergency brake is applied in one coach then it should apply into that the system should know where the emergency brake has been applied or in case of a parting brake should apply so all those uh, systems are there 
this is a basic communication system for the train we are presently working on ethernet based communication the train network is ethernet based all coaches have their own dedicated computers and there is a 100% redundancy each coach has one main and one redundant computer then there is a redundancy of the communication media there are two dedicated channels inter basic unit communication is again ethernet that we call ethernet train backbone that you can see here again we have two ethernet train backbones which is per basic unit redundancy and communication media two lines are there so we have a 100% redundancy for all communication yeah, control computers let me see control unit level redundancy communication media redundancy data recording redundancy and aux redundancy this i will explain later it will become very important uh, it has become very important and there has been a massive change in this thing in the new rakes we will discuss it in the end this is a very basic uh, all of us have been in railway so far we know all these equipments are needed to simply run a locomotive we have a compressor we have battery battery charger line interaction converter or you may call it civ motors brake chopper or crowbar resistors we all know this under frame uh, main transformers auxiliary converters pantograph vcs all these equipments have been distributed in different different coaches and everything is mounted on the underslung of the distribution is obviously depends upon a lot of things weight has to be balanced and all so that distribution is done by the propulsion designer itself let's see what they do in the next weeks what changes they make we have proposed for one change the compressor is currently in the first coach that is dtc that is subject to a lot of cro's so we have proposed we had proposed one change that the compressor be moved to some coach other than dtc i don't know whether they have accepted that or not now the, uh, again the important system is brake system so the com complete brake system is microprocessor controlled direct service brake ep brake is there obviously we have our indirect brake that is generally used in all other rakes we have a pneumatic system, pneumatic brake here we call it indirect brake you can just drop the bp and brakes will be applied based upon the bp pulse we have the uh, one small difference from lhb rakes we lhb coaches sorry the brake discs are not mounted on the axle they are mounted on the wheel discs and our parking our calipers are integrated half of our calipers have their park have parking brakes in them so each axle we have a parking brake and of the system takes care that there is no simultaneous application of parking as well as the service brake because that puts a load lot of you know, lot of stress on the slack edges so it takes control that there is no simultaneous application again i told this that electrodynamic brake of the motor cars is our primary brake system the ep brake will only be used if the brake demand cannot be completed by the ed brakes very simple now this you must have seen these are these are all brake skids all these are uh, part of the brake control system here you can see two bcus bcus are basically brake control units Uh, as it is an ep brake so we have an electronic part we have the pneumatic part the electronic part is called brake electronic control unit jo ki har coach mein ab har coach ke computer ke paas on board mein electronic panel mein laga hua hai aur jo uska pneumatic part hai brake ka that is brake control unit jo ki niche laga hua hai one uh, small thing about this initially when we got the strain these uh, five skids were not very well protected so we had uh, very initially we had a case of uh, cro wherein bcus were damaged so obviously the us particular coach ka brakes we had to disable but now afterwards we gave the session to icf and icf provided a protective 
shroud around all these brakes kids after that there has not been such case so obviously as I, as I, as i said ke uh, in new rakes whatever problems shakur basti has faced a lot of problems will already come rectified now infrastructure this is basically what we have proposed for our new depot presently we have two lines this is you can see this existing demo shed presently we have two lines covered lines of 365 meters length so we have been maintaining the train in this it, it was made for demo fortunately there was no different we lost audio so it is very and if that happens during charge condition that can be very risky so wherever we maintain these rakes in future we have to make sure that we don't do the water based activity in the maintenance lines then we have proposed for a workshop workshop we have proposed for eight coach length because of the space constraints in the present site if possible we can go for let's say full full length workshop i don't know whether to make that camp tech will take care of that so and and dedicated pit wheel line is uh, must we need to have a dedicated pit wheel line at present we do not have a dedicated pit wheel line so if there is a requirement of wheel reprofiling so we have to disconnect that coach from the rake formation which is not preferable neither advised so we need to have a dedicated pit wheel line with uh, we have planned for a pit wheel line this ka dono taraf 500 meters ka line tra tracks mein mil jata so we will be able to turn a 20 rake ka koi bhi coach at any location we just have to place that particular coach on the pit wheel line so this is very important where new depots we plan we must have this what are key features uh, all modern facilities uh, this is one good thing we, did, we don't have here retractable ohs we abhi wherever we have ohs we do not have uh, overhead cranes eot cranes so if you have retractable ohs so you can have uh, eots that is uh, required bahut not a very high capacity but at least a 1.5 to 2 ton straight 2 ton crane because you may need to dismount the rmpu or the pantograph they are around 800 kg 900 kg in weight so you need that then they are again i am i am encroaching into camtex domain the ed camtex has taken care of all this depot planning so this is Uh, we have inspection bay lines we have stabling bay lines i'm using this terminology this is primarily used in uh, dmrc we have started using these workshop what we call heavy in our traditional diesel or demo sheds we call heavy line or bogey line uh, because all dmrc depots do their own uh, iuh and poh bigger schedules 3 year 6 year schedule so they have a dedicated workshop we must we can also we have a separate system of sending the rakes to workshops that is again whether to do that or whatever so we have started using that terminology workshops we have different msps of the substations through line for underflow wheel lift very very important i will stress again this is a small list of mnp that we have planned for our new depot automatic coach washing plant something new synchronized pit wheel jacks i will this is actually very good thing i will show you a small video for this 
under full under floor pit wheel lathe we have discussed this laser based wheel profile scanning machine this is also a good thing i will again sh share a small video for this bogie drop table we can plan we can drop for in situ bogie replacement suppose you don't want to take the rake or the coach to the workshop bay for replacement of bogies we can go for bogie bogie drop table battery operated shunter again for within the depot shunting we need not use diesel locomotives or some other battery operated shunters are there aot cranes very good material handling equipment aerial work platforms obviously and the best of the best okay, tooling yeah. that we can get the fourth point are you going for it which one laser based wheel profiling scanning machine yes we already have this we already we are presently using it for our uh, demo rakes and all we have this okay calipri one na sir sorry calipri yeah lot of options in that calipri and all you can get you if you can get you can go for the uh, side uh, rails rail side mounted uh, profile scanning machine a lot of cost is involved in that but then you don't have to do the manual measurement of all wheels it is automatically as the rake rolls in into the rake as the rake rolls in into the depot you can go so this is one small video i'd like to share uh, this is i don't know whether you have seen this or not this is one synchronized pit wheel jack uh, and you will see the advantage of why we are uh, pushing for this Yeah, it is visible now. Yeah. so this is uh, again when the matlab it is in continuation to what we discussed ki you you should not be required to disconnect the coach from the rake so if you can lift the entire rake Aray, and you can so g drive ka link share kiya ho if you are able to pull kahan raha hai this uh, replace the affected bogie without disconnecting the coach so obviously a uh, lot of effort is saved and again it is very easy to you know once the entire thing is lifted it is very easy to open the uh, bogie body connections also rather than you know a bit traditionally we are using that pits and very very difficult to stop water ingress in those pits now this one small video i am sharing for the uh, laser based wheel profile scanning machine hey I am going for a vacation. A minute, so I'll be totally line. cut off. Is it visible? Yes, visible. Yes, sir. Sir.
okay so uh, the features of it so again a very uh, very actually effective tool we are presently using it and we have again crossed verified it with the traditional uh, wheel profile or wheel wear gauges we have the results are equivalent and we have no problem so far so and once the guys get proficient they are able to do one wheel in around 5 seconds so very less time so we can plan for some things like this again i as i said if we can go for uh, rail side based rail side wheel profile scanning machines then it will further reduce the requirements now this is a small issue that we encountered during train operation and maintenance this is our uh, maintenance schedule periodicity as prescribed by board uh, we are presently adhering to it and Excuse me, sir. yes please yes please सर इसके पहले जो वीडियो दिखाया था आपने उसमें ये था कि वो साड़ी कोच को एक साथ लिफ्ट करेंगे और उसके बाद उसका ट्रॉली को निकाल लेंगे तो जब ये सर हम लोग मेंटेनेंस में करेंगे उस समय भी ऐसा ही करेंगे और नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये है कि मान लीजिए किसी एक का निकालना हो तब क्या करेंगे हाँ इसमें आप जैसे आप पूरे रेक को लिफ्ट कर सकते हैं जिस पर्टिकुलर बोगी को आपको रोल डाउन करना है आप उस पर्टिकुलर जैक को डाउन कर सकते हैं तो वो बोगी आपकी डाउन हो जाएगी देन वी कैन रोल इट आउट ठीक है सर जी सो एट Uh, maintenance philosophy. This is what we are doing at present. It may change. It may. Yeah, it may depend upon the uh, yeah, local. You are issuing the BPC for how many days? Sorry. You are issuing the BPC for how many days? We are issuing the BPC for three days or five thousand kilometers as per the trip defined by the board. But the Katra Rail does not adhere to that frequency. It runs for six days. Yeah. But we get the uh, rake in the washing line at night, so we can check. Okay. So this is our, as I said, this is our present maintenance philosophy. We have only two rakes, so we decided that if we start stocking each item, obviously a certain quantity you have to stock that will lead to a lot of cost. And there were always rumors that there will be changes in the new rakes, so we only. stock the consumables and frequently changing items like window glasses or brake pads something like that bigger items we have not uh... so no comprehensive amc we have for propulsion system and rmpu this is wrong and we are doing the in house maintenance of bio vacuum system and air brake maintenance system and we got uh, rsp sanctions from board so capital spares we are procuring through that only Also, not very efficient to purchase a lot of capital spares. You should. So, next is this is our service disruptions. So, what this is, these are you know times where when we have not been able to send the rake for service, and a tejas rake had to be sent in place of this. The major chunk in this is because of the issue of the primary spring breakage that we faced, but. in abhi recently we did the ss1 schedule of the rex after that we have not faced this issue whatever they these all all of these springs were from a single manufacturer and i don't know whether the report says there was improper heat treatment they have contested that so no need to no benefit of getting into that but after ss1 we have not faced the issue of primary spring breakage this one failure was because of the blast hitting the under frame and subsequent damage to the components we have taken care of this I, i'll show you we have made one small modification and it took care of that this is current versus time percentage basically so you can see our maximum time and this is in powering mode you can see on the right side filter uh, maximum time this is uh, they have plotted they gathered the data per second so for the 62.67% of time the current was between 51 to 100 amps 
the peak current that you are seeing 500 550 that is only in the uh, only that there for a very very small duration of time this is that plot so similar plot so what we have is we have do, uh, in the 16 coach formation that we have there are basically eight type of coaches you see there are eight type of coaches they are either electrically different or they are commercially different so in 16 rake formation you have eight different kind of coaches so if you go for keeping spare coaches you would have to keep eight type of coaches no benefit in that nobody does that dmrc if we discuss that is our prime reference they also keep spare rakes DMRC operates on the principle of around 10% of spare rakes. For one depot we visited, they had around 36 rakes out of which they were running 33 in service, three they kept as spares. So similar things we, we have written, similar things we need. We need to have an entire rake. So you can just sick mark the entire rake, attend whatever is the issue, and then you can send it back into the service. At present, we do not have a spare rake because only two were manufactured. So we have kept one Tejas rake as standby in case of any issue that we cannot attend in the night or during that maintenance day that we have available with us. So this is uh, failures of primary helical spring co uh, coil springs. This is the primary reason for service spring. We have had 10 cases so far. So during the SS1 schedule, springs having given this like all the springs were checked and even slightest doubt was there the springs were replaced so we have not had any failure after ss1 schedule of the rake this is a report camtech report for that no sorry not camtech report uh, ccmt report from charpak now this is one small thing, uh, one small issue that people face in neutral. See, wherever we go to the neutral section, in traditional coaches, same thing happens. Whenever you go to the neutral section, the hotel load disconnects. So your water raising pump that works on 415 volts three phase, that stops. But that is not phased by the passengers or anybody using the lavatory because there is a small water overhead water tank. So that provides water during that no supply period. But in these two rakes, we do not have this overhead water tank in the lavatory. So around 60 seconds, you can see that again, depends upon the speed of the train. For around 40 to 60 seconds, you do not have water available in the lavatory and mobile charging is also disconnected. Similar thing happens for all, but I, as I told, we have one small overhead tank. So that is taken care of. So the solution has been provided in next rigs there wherein they have at, at present each basic unit caters to its own 415 supply so when you pass through neutral section the vcb is open so you get that gap you get that gap so in next rigs they have provided a 415 bus so if your one basic unit is in neutral section or the vcb has opened the other two three rigs can supply the 450 or other two three basic units can supply the 415 via bus this they have changed in new leaks this is a small uh, comparison of hog versus train 18 as i have told uh, this is all the devices that remain open or the device gets switched off so all the supplies that work on 415 volt three phase or 220 volts AC or 110 volt AC get switched off. So they basically that amounts to your all the auxiliary blowers, your water raising pump, 220 volts AC is the pantry equipment, 110 volt AC charging socket, they get switched off. <clears throat> now this is one major issue that we faced during maintenance. See, in, in the first rake, first the seats were supplied by two uh, manufacturers. One was Messrs. Fansa, that was of European uh, origin from Barcelona, Spain. And other was uh, seven coaches seats were supplied by the, in fact, total seats were supplied by Messrs. Airflow. 
which sourced them from uh, somewhere some china form i don't know that <clears throat> so uh, we had the issue of you know upholstery of these uh, per these particular seeds supplied by this particular manufacturer peeling off so but now that has been changed there were very matlab minor to or no complaints with the other manufacturer that is messrs fans or the european make so we had this issue next uh, we in this particular train you have vacuum assisted uh, bio toilets these were supplied by the you know, messrs bfg who sourced it from evac germany evac germany authorized one firm in india for its uh, spares or whatever services so because of the non availability of spares some issues issue were faced now as as we have learned that evac has been taken care of by nor brains so i think that should take care of the issue somehow now this is one thing that you must have seen also on various youtube videos and all where a lot of damage happens to the front frp nose cone or coupler cover we call it because behind this there is a cbc coupler hidden so whenever there is a cro this thing gets damaged subsequently uh, the side frp walls also get damaged so we have requested icf to improve the you know either the material or the you know, mechanical properties of this particular part so let's see whether they do it or not i think i hope they do it this is one issue that has to be so we took care of it by developing the you know, frp repair capability in house earlier we used to get it you know repaired by our few vendors frp vendors we had but now we have developed the you know capability of repairing these in house so that has saved us a lot of money once issue we had with this these reading lights these were touch based reading lights on the luggage rack no problems with the luggage rack but a big very big design issue with this reading light it had a small retaining ring on the top that retained it in its position but that was made up of made of plastic so somebody pressed this hard enough that ring would break and this thing will become free in the enclosure so we have modified the design ourselves we have Uh, change that plastic retaining ring to metallic retaining ring so we have had no failures so far this again we had suggested to icf as i am told they have changed the design so we will not face this problem in the future rakes these are our window blinds there used to be two guide wires in this window blind that wires that wire used to get damaged because of that this thing will stop operating So again, we have asked ICF to change the design or at least improve the design. So I'm certain they have done that. <clears throat> This is again one small issue. They use there was a automatic. There is a disabled friendly uh, lavatory in the DTC coaches. There was an automatically operated door for that. but the door speed was too low so because of that when passengers used to open it manually that control system or that motor used to burn so we have had this uh, obviously we have again referred this to icf so i am told that they have taken care of this in the design now chair car seats that we have they do not have the reclining mechanism so they will Will you improve that? Improve that has been improved. Now this is one big issue that we have continuous glass look for the whole train, but neither of these glass is mounted using a beading. These are uh, you know, pasted onto the metallic frame using a polyurethane based sealant. So that requires a lot of time. One glass change takes around four to five or five to six hours based upon the skill of the manpower and once you fix the glass also you have to you know keep it still for around 4 hours before that sealant is cured enough so that you can run 
you operate the rate. So this thing requires some rethinking. Similar is the issue for the front lookout glass. This is one issue that you guys may face as we have fully suspended motors that are suspended fully on the bogey. There is very minor gap between the axle and the traction motor. So sometimes ballast may get stuck there, ballast or whatever unwanted material is lying there on the track. So you can see whatever damages have happened to the axle. Fortunately, we have had no axle field for this reason. We do the ultrasonic testing and all the tests as is prescribed on the prescribed frequency that we are, that has to be done. But this sort of damage can happen. Thing has been referred to ICF. Now this is one big issue. So coach to coach, we have gangway, and as I have told, these were not made for you know uh, disconnecting. But again, we have had to disconnect these coaches. So disconnecting one coach on one side takes around two to three hours. But again, I have been told they have taken care of this into the new rakes. They have made the gangway a split design. If you must have seen in metros, they have a uh, splitting handle right in the middle of that uh, inner bellow that you can see in metros. Here that inner bellow is hidden by these side uh, inner walls, but that has been taken care of. So it will be easy to operate in for the future rakes. Now this is one issue that I told that there was a case of ballast hitting. So there was this particular uh, brake control unit in TC coaches was not protected. So we have installed uh, shrouds around it, this metallic shroud that we have installed in-house. So that has been taken care of. The design has been shared with ICF. So hopefully in next tricks, you will get it installed. So this particular pipe of ours broke during a blast hitting in the underflow. Now this was one issue that we faced very early that the filters of our auxiliary converters used to choke up very, very, very you know, frequently. The auxiliary converters are also mounted into under frame and uh, very, very fine filters were there. They get, they get, they used to get choked. So after a you know, few tries, we have now increased the filter mesh size in consultation with the OEM Medha. So that issue has been taken care of. I'm hoping, and obviously they will take care of this into the future rakes also. The line and traction converters in future rakes, you will get oil cooled. So the problem is automatically solved. And for traction motors, at present the traction motors are self-cooled, self-ventilated. So they take air from the under, under frame itself. So a lot of dust and a lot of you know, unwanted particles, cottons, plastics are there on the track. But in future rakes, they are providing ducts from the coach sidewall. So that, that has been taken care of. You won't get that much of, you just have to clean that duct and the duct filter. So traction motors will not be getting raw air, as, you, as I can say, from the underframe. So it has been taken care of. So as I was, it must have been evident that maximum number of failures or maximum number of issues that we faced were not related to the propulsion or the braking side of it. Much more maintenance effort is needed on the uh, passenger amenity side of it. And you can see it is very much uh, clear from the maximum complaints that we have raised on the ICF portal. Polar blinds, regzines, vacuum boy toilets, linoleum flooring, rubberized flooring that they have. So a lot of maintenance effort is not needed on the propulsion or braking part of it. But you have to be prepared for this passenger limit because this becomes the face of the train. And that is what everybody sees. Electrical items, you can see the maximum issue has been with the reading lights. Primary coil spring, I already told you. So that is the issue. These all the air spring that is, is none of the air springs failed during service. We'll be very open with that. This all these air springs were declared failed during SS1 schedule test. So there, were, there was no uh, service interruption or detention because of air springs ever. But obviously, so that. Now this is one small thing that I wanted to share with all you guys that 
whatever what are the new changes that icf has done or rather i say rds should have done in the new specifications so all your alarm systems door systems all these will have fire survival cables now i told this that uh, not there is a 415 bus now 415 volt synchronized bus for auxiliary converters so that will help in neutral section as well as in case the auxiliary converters of one of the units fail if one of the con uh, converters fail it's okay but if the both converters of the same basic units fail in present design you can get only 50 percent load from the adjacent basic unit but in the new specifications because of this bus uh, in case of the auxiliary converter failures of one basic unit other three will give the complete 100 percent load to the failed affected unit so at present we have around 1.5 hours backup battery backup for emergency systems that includes your control systems doors as well as the emergency blowers for the rmpus but that has been increased to three hours so because instead of Verla batteries, they have gone for lithium ion batteries, 684 ampere hours, I'm, I'm being told. Now they've uh, again changed the battery charger from 415 volts AC to, well, from the battery charger will take input from 415 volts AC instead of DC inputs. This is one very big thing. Uh, at present, the TCMS does not have any cell requirement, but the next require next rigs will have a SIL2 requirement. SIL2 is basically what is the probability of failure on demand. So this is one in hundred to thousand, it should be thousand. One into hundred to thousand failures on demand. Uh, coach control and manual system will have one 18 inch touch screen. In each cab at present, we have only one driver display unit. Few of the ALPs or co-LPs, I should say, they requested that they should also have one uh, display parallel so they can also continuously see for the see the condition of all the systems so that has been taken care of rmpus they have put in one uh, variable voltage variable frequency compressor because they wanted to have that variable uh, rmpu capacity so they have put in that there will be a fire detection and separation system in the new rigs that is also sailed to Riding index has been improved from four turns to sorry 4.0 to 3.5 with a preferred value of 3.25. Bogey had to be redesigned for that. That DIS and CCTV earlier they used they were on two separate networks. Now that has been combined into one simple single network of gigabit capacity. 25 frames per second CCTVs are actually very good. This I already told that there will be 100% availability in case of failure of one basic unit. They have improved the insulation and oil class of the main transformer. The time to reduce 160 seconds has been reduced. Also, the residual acceleration at 160 kmph has been reduced. So this has led to the uh, complete redesign of the traction motor curves, the, mo the motoring the constant power zone will has been redesigned flood proofing of the requirement of the level, please. Yes, please. Please. this ride index yes. ride index yeah so how much is it as of now see as of now we recently measured it i don't remember the value but it, it, the condition at that the requirement at that point of time was four so recently also, I will share it after this, this class and we recently did the oscillation trials again. So it was way, well, way well below the specified limit. Now they've in, uh, improved the limit itself. So this will, the preferred is now 3.25 or 3.5. So let's see what actually comes once the ray goes into oscillation trials. The, the present one I will share. I don't remember the value exactly, but I will share. So now I am putting that is the end of my small, not so small presentation. So now I am asking if anybody has any questions, I will be happy to answer it to the best of my abilities.
Sir, any other department involving like uh, electrical and AC for taking care of training or only CNW? No, no. Totally, it is uh, it is being presently done by our uh, staffs. We had this was uh, earlier. It was it used to be a demo shed. So we had sixteen hundred HP demos and fourteen hundred HP demos. So everything is being done by us. A lot of help we are getting from CNW, but also, but no other department. No. Thank you, sir. My only is uh, my see my verdict of having you know, being with this train for almost three years now. Very easy the propulsion as well as braking will not cause you a lot of grief. Grief is caused by the uh, passenger amenity items and the you know the visible part of it. Nobody can see the traction inverter once the train is running, right? So we have to be you know, geared up for the passenger amenity part of it and the you know, visible part of it. Uh, everybody of uh, all of us have traveled with LHB, so we know the issues related with the uh, FRP panels. So that is what we need to you know, get ready for. Once the propulsion and the braking will not take up a lot of your time. Initially, they will take up our time. Once your staff get accustomed to it, once they learn the basics of it, that will not take up a lot of time. Is it that for a disc brake uh, brake pads only, no, sir? A disc brake pads, yeah. Disc is mounted on the wheel, but not on the axle as the LHP. Yeah. Just like you have in your automobile thing. cars and all. Sir, any MNP item was procured during this uh, maintenance of uh, uh, train 18, sir? Yes, some MNPs we had to procure, like we had to procure a VCB analyzer. So uh, it was done under planet 41 or it was given as a turnkey, sir? See, uh, whatever M the, the, the layouts I have shared, that is done, and that is being done under turnkey. Whatever MNP I am telling now, we uh, procured it under the you know MNP parts of DRM sir or GM sir, whatever happens. So we procured one transformer oil filtration machine. We procured one uh, variable voltage, variable frequency, traction motor, yeah, boogie run test. We procured a VCB analyzer. Well, small, small things we had to. And how were you able to get hold of the quotation from the firms? Like, how did you know that these firms are involved in this kind of work and uh, we have to get the quotation from them? Uh, honestly, I will tell you when I was, uh, I, I'll just be very easy. Where I have recently proposed for one breakdown voltage machine. So I called up the traction motor manufacturer. Sorry, sorry, traction transformer manufacturer. I called him up and he told me that uh, Metrom is a good OEM that manufactures breakdown voltage machine. So I, then I found the contact details for Metrom on the web. See, it's very easy because whoever is the manufacturer, if you if you have to test breakdown voltage, obviously the traction transformer who is supplying that, he's testing it at his own facility. And our job electrical local sheds are the same practices are there. So if we are not having any idea, we can also like uh, take help of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously, obviously. BDV, yeah, transformation oil, transformation oil filtration plant, yeah. all these things are being used by electrical local sheds. Yes, 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 yes. All these are being used by uh, <laughs> sheds. If you have any metro depot nearby, I will suggest very strongly you go and visit them. They have very, very good infrastructure and very good MNP, MNP is there. So once you start to get into the crux of it, now you will easily get help from whether the OEM or the uh, nearby depot, nearby memo depot, you can go. They have all these things. They have been doing all these because three phase memos have been there for a very long time now. Three phase locos have been there for a very long time now. So all of, uh, all of things are there. In fact, uh, if I remember, Camtech uh, has prepared a very good report. Uh, braking system, eh, during the braking, is there any difference between motor car and trailer car? Uh, as because motor car are having uh, 
traction motor during regenerative brake speed. Is it application both EP and regenerative braking simultaneously in motor car or only regenerative braking? Sudhir, uh, your voice is not audible. Sudhir, are you there? Sir, recently his mobile uh, battery level is showing low, sir. Yeah, he's disconnected. Yeah, that may be the case, perhaps. Uh, let me just uh, call him once. Okay, Sudhir will be re is trying to rejoin. I uh, will just wait for a couple of minutes. Hey, audible, sir. I just went. Yeah, you are audible, Sudhir. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yes. Can you? Uh, someone had asked a question. Can you just repeat the question? My question is: uh, braking system during braking, whether throttle is uh, kept in regenerative mode. So is there any difference between motor coach and trailer coach? Uh, as because motor coach is having a traction motor and trailer coach has no traction motor. So no point of coaching is arise in trailer coach as regenerative braking. So is it simultaneously motor coach uh, having both uh, uh, EP and uh, regenerative braking simultaneously or not? See, as I told the whatever braking demand you gave, it, if it if it can it can be uh, completed by the electrodynamic effort, there will be no EP brake application. If EP is applied, it will be simultaneously applied. No issues. Because each coach has its own brake controller. So all of them get the demand. If that particular is a motor coach, the first preference is given to the ED, the motor ED. And the obvious TC coaches, that is done by the uh, friction brake. Friction brake, yes. Sudhir, uh, there is one question from my side. Sir, uh, you you showed us a video regarding that synchronized lifting jacks, which could just lift the entire rake. Sir. So, uh, so so in the future, will we be planning for such jacks for the entire coach length or for uh, basic unit wise? Uh, what is the thought process currently? So, again, it's, it's a question of cost and space availability also what we have planned sir we have planned for eight coach length but you know sir ye, ye aata hai, sir uh, from metros and all from in metros inter basic unit coupler is automatic so hmm. it takes around five minutes for them to disconnect that bu so they, they have planned for bu wise like if i tell you that Again, depends upon service also. RRTS, that new NCRTC depot that we have planned, they have six car rake and they have planned for six car basic unit. Sorry, lifting jack. So we have longer rakes, sir. No, uh -huh. Might not be prudent to spend that much money because for eight car, mother per car costing is around two CR with jack okay. costing. Okay. So currently we are planning for half of that. I mean, eight basic units we are planning. That is, so we'll have to detach uh, from the, you know, after eight basic okay. units, we'll have to detach it. That eight effort. Eight for two basic units, so eight car with jacks. Sure. Okay. Okay. And another thing which we were discussing, some of the participants had the query that uh, turntable requirement. 
विल वी हैव एनी टर्न टेबल रिक्वायरमेंट इन द फ्यूचर एंड टर्न टेबल का क्या मतलब उसका कोई प्लानिंग ऐसा कुछ so we have not planned neither i don't think we'll need because uh, turn table sir uh, so i don't know whether to use the term where to use the turn table the only coach that you can turn and put into on the other end is uh, dtc the driving cab ah dtc ke liye so Haan. not if you have sir if you have spare rakes even if you have one Haan. spare rake that is easy to pull that whole rake from the service and put the spare rake No, the question is practically you are saying giving an example of I think Delhi Metro or क्या को के किसी डिपो को यूर गिविंग ऑन एग्जांपल दैट आह दे हैव 36 रेक्स दे आर ऑपरेटिंग 33 एंड 3 आर स्पेयर ओके सो नाउ इफ द सिमिलर इफ अ सिमिलर सिचुएशन अराइजेस इन से दिल्ली न्यू दिल्ली में अगर मे बी आफ्टर टू इयर्स ये सिचुएशन अराइज होती है कि 36 रेक्स आ गए 40 रेक्स आ गए जिसमें से पांच हमें स्पेयर रखना है एंड 35 विल बी इन ऑपरेशन वो पांच रेक फुल टाइम स्पेयर रेक रखने के लिए हमारे पास स्टेबलिंग लाइंस उतने कहीं होंगे क्या मतलब इज इट प्रैक्टिकल एक्चुअली अगेन इशू सर अगेन इशू हमारे पास वो स्टेबलिंग करने इनफैक्ट सर आई रिमेंबर व्हेन पीडी कैमटेक सर visited train set depot regarding the new depot to so, there also he said that you must have stabling lines for your full fleet kyunki we all saw in covid ke wo rakes kahan ke kahan place hue kahan khade hue nobody was aware of that but that 33 that i am saying sir 36 and 33 that also includes their uh, maintenance spare sort of jo wo major kyunki because wo apna major schedule wahi pe hi karte hain ha at least one rake is in major schedule only they keep on rotating that also okay okay are there any other questions from the participants sir sir ab aap bataye ki wo jo spring breakages hai within ss1 ke baad khatam ho gaye hain to minimize hue hain yes to aap jo ss1 kiye hain wo before prescribed time mein मैं लॉकडाउन so that is around 1 year so 1 year is uh, around uh, 3 4 lakh 3 4 lakh 4 lakh kilometers and then one more around 5 lakh kilometers 5 lakh kilometers 5.5 matlab that is was per month is around 1 lakh or per month running is 1 lakh so you can uh, february to march 13 months in fact sorry, sorry per month is 33000 sorry per month is 33000 so uh, february 2019 to march 2020 Before lockdown, thirteen months, and from September it was restarted after lockdown. September to October, so around fourteen months, so around four twenty four four point five. That was the first failure. The failed spring was imported. The indigenous service spring. Indigenous, sir. G K G B Springs, Dehradun. अभी सर जो ट्रेन एटीन के दोनों रैक में साथ दोनों रैक में इंडिजिनस स्प्रिंग है हाँ जी ओके एनी अदर क्वेश्चंस सर एनी केस ऑफ व्हील सेलिंग इज देयर नहीं वी हैव बीन फॉर्चुनेट no wheel selling no wheel selling you will not face any wheel selling issue at least with these rakes any brake binding sir brake binding we have had one case again this was again i told you because because of water ingress in that brake control unit okay sir sorry but again this system is intelligent enough wo identify karke aapko deta hai kaun se coach mein kaun si bogi mein brake binding hui hai It will identify and it will tell you. You can go and just do it that. Okay, sir. Sir, CBC में कोई fail हो रहा है सर इसके CBC. Don't have CBC. Coach to coach coupler CBC नहीं है. Coach to coach coupler is a semi permanent coupler. Semi, yes, sir. CBC semi permanent coupler. No. Is failure. there any failure in coupling arrangement? No, no failure. उसमें से एक चीज़ we have religiously followed. 
उसका मैनुअल सिर्फ एक चीज कहता है कि वेन एवर यू डिसकनेक्टेड देर आर फोर बोल्ट जो कि वो चार बोल्ट से कनेक्ट होता है और उसका मैनुअल ही कहता है कि वेन एवर यू डिसकनेक्ट यू मस्ट चेंज दीज बोल्ट ओके सर तो वो हमने रिलीजियसली फॉलो किया है अभी तक वी हैव नो फेलियर्स ओके सर एनी अदर कंट्रोल आर्म फेलियर्स सॉरी कंट्रोल आर्म्स और कंट्रोल आर्म्स साइलेंट ब्लॉक्स रोलिंग ट्रैक ट्रैक्स और रोलिंग्स नथिंग 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 आई वुड टू चेक विद द चारबाग वर्कशॉप बट नहीं नो फेल नो नो फेलियर्स इन माय मेमोरी नो ओके सर थैंक यू सर sir yes. sir yes, yes. sir you are told that classes were replaced during some damages but uh-huh. the classes are available in market or is it available in the stores oh so, the classes you? we uh, initially we got a lot of help from icf from icf we got glasses and all now we have uh, found one uh, local developer local i don't say i should not say local he is actually a very big firm but he developed he used to develop wind shields for automotive automotives cars so we developed with him so it's easily available to us now but but is it approved source or how we can ensure no that class <laughs> i have no i don't i say has no i have not seen the approved vendors list at all we took the icf drawing we got the glass developed and we have had no problem so far the color the, he match everything color of the glass and everything no problem so far so one question that i want to ask is jo bhi hamare in future jo bhi train set ke rates aayenge usme this interchangeability of bogies mc and tc bogies that has been done away with so this recommendation was given by i mean from your side or from उन्होंने मतलब जिन्होंने प्रोड्यूस किया उन्होंने ही लिया दे हैव वे विद द इंटरचेंजेबिलिटी ऑफ टीसी एंड एमसी कोचेस बोगीज बोगीज यस सर नॉट अ वेरी वाइज डिसीजन नो नॉट फ्रॉम आवर साइड वी हैव हम लोग इन फैक्ट वी हैड टू रन आवर वन मोटर कोच विद टीसी बोगीज फॉर अराउंड इनिशियल बेयरिंग फेलियर सो नो नॉट आवर रिकमेंडेशन Maybe because, weight, you know, maybe because of weight, you know, maybe because of weight they have done away. Because if you see the new specification and you compare it with the old specification, you will see the weight available to the propulsion designer. They have keep kept fixed four ten tons, I guess, if I remember correctly. And the scope has been increased a lot. What choice do they have but to change the bogey design? So I will try. I will try and talk to the bogey guy. Why have they done that? Because if 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 if
See, I don't know at what cost railway buys. The cost to me is not known, but I can tell you from uh, New Delhi to Banaras, including hotel loads, we are consuming around just a minute. 18, around 80, uh, 18 uh, kilowatts, uh, kilowatt hour per kilometers. That is including hotel load. I don't have, I would have to find the traction exact value, but including hotel load, I can tell you it is this. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, uh, 22 units. Sorry? 22 units. I have, I don't know what you have. I recently calculated it from Feb to March. So our average is from including the uh, regeneration. So once you get the average from Delhi to Banaras consumption is around uh, 14,500. That is on a running of 770 kilometers. You can do the math. Again, depends. I told you, I gave, recently gave this data to RDS only. 18 point something. I don't know. Okay, are there any other questions from the participants? Or should we conclude? Okay, it looks like uh, no further questions. So, again, uh, it was an outstanding session, Sudhir. And uh, I believe uh, we have always wanted that someone from Shakur Basti should be, uh, should take a session in, these, uh, in this IRMI train set course. Because uh, most of these questions regarding to the uh, maintenance and the operational uh, requirements of this train set and what challenges we are facing, only I think Shagutasti Depot is in that position to answer these questions. And you have very well uh, answered those questions today. And uh, we hope that in the future also, uh, we will be conducting this course on a regular basis and uh, we hope that you will be part of this uh, uh, initiative of IRMI. So, thank you Sudhir, thank you very much. Uh, it was a, a great lecture and uh, looking forward to meet you in the future. And uh, thank you to so all participants. We can break for lunch and lunch ke baad, uh, we'll meet at the regular time for the third session. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank 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 you.